sitting at home. Looking for me the real news. Guess you can call us video bros. We should make this like I guess like a half hour uh video. That should be pretty good for uh Splatfest. That's usually what I did on my own when I did solo videos of that for a Yeah, while. no, that's that's fine, yeah. I usually did that for solo Splatfest videos. Which I deleted most of them because I'm like these aren't really that fun with without you. I'm like these kinda suck. Oh, welcome back, by the way. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're just going right into it. <laughs> I was just talking about how I deleted uh, old Splatfest videos of just me by myself doing them solo because they kind of sucked. It was a while ago though, and I'm like, it's better with me and Jeff doing them together. All right, so well, I have someone to actually talk to. Welcome back to Video Bros. Our um, long-awaited um, return. Return. And by I, long I know only like four mean, people watch us, but there's um. And by long way did we mean like a month? I believe because yeah, last we've video just been we was... we've both been busy and um. I mean, you're always the one that's busy. That's why sometimes I don't bother asking you because I'm like I don't know what your schedule is. I know, but um. Anyway, welcome to um Splatoon the the final Splatoon two the very final Splat Fest the Splat Oc the Splatocalypse Splatocalypse. Blah, an enemy. See him, an enemy. That's like how when uh, Metal Ocalypse was still running, my mom said dead when I would record them on DVR and be like, hey, can I watch this episode next day? Because it would always be in their room. Um, I'd have to go in their room and watch it, and they'd have to, I'd have to kick them out. They would always have a hard time pronouncing it, and they'd call it Metal Ocalypse. Like, they'd have a hard time <laughs> pronouncing it. I'm like, it's Metal Ocalypse. Metal Ocalypse. I can say Metal Ocalypse, but I can't say Splatocalypse. Splatocalypse. Yay, you got it right. Yay. One in a row. No, I'm not a kid. I'm a squid. I can actually <laughs> pronounce things. Anyway, so right now, um, you can't see this, but me and Brandon are using, um, going to be using the Power A Enhanced Wireless Controller, which has all the standard features of a regular wireless controller but um, for the Switch, but it also has two buttons on the back, which I mapped out to um, give me better, better performance in Splatoon. I actually want to kind of get like I want to kind of be a professional in this game. Not gonna ever gonna happen, but not until Splatoon three. No. But you know what though? Uh, whenever it's my turn to play, because we're gonna switch controllers, I want to turn off the motion controls because I hate motion controls in Splatoon. I can't. I deal can't. With them. I mean, I'll I'll turn it off for you. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Whenever well, it's my turn, turn them off because I do not want to play them with them on. I can't play without them because it's just natural to me. Like, well, I, I played like that a little bit in Splatoon 1, and then I'm like, wait, I can turn these off? Okay, so... Oh my god, it's amazing. You said you uh, already chose a team? Yeah, I, already, I played last night, so... What was your team again? Chaos, chaos. or Order? Okay. Chaos. I had, I had to pick Chaos. The oh. little... The artwork for the Chaos one looks cooler. That's why. They also have... What do you call it? Nintendo even said on their Tumblr site... That looks like Bend Art or Nintendo something. Nintendo said on their on their Tumblr site for the Splatoon... The Splatoon 2 US Tumblr... That they were announcing, um, putting out shirts for the both um, Chaos and Order. Oh yeah, those can definitely sell. And then I went to the site because I was like, look, I went to the Nintendo's um, website to to shop for stuff. And guess what? What? Both already sold out. I, yeah. I can get them cheap though on like Redbubble.com. I'm not that surprised I sold out. I mean, it's Splatoon, dude. Ah. Uh... I'm so, if you guys don't know, and if you guys have played Splatoon, you guys know Moray Tower is the worst stage ever. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, it works out in Smash Brothers, but that's a different game entirely. Actually, you know what's strange? I like it better in Smash Brothers. Because it's not the same layout, that's why. Yeah. It's Also, I'm not sure, right now it is um, 9.24 yeah. um, p.m. on Friday the 19th. So I'm not sure where this lies in, but if you guys haven't heard about the news about Splatfest, basically over 72 hours were from yeah starting yesterday at 8 p.m. Thursday, July 20 July 18th Eastern Standard Time. Um, starting from there on until Sunday, um, it's supposed to last 72 hours. The first 48 hours, we're supposed to get all of our um, old Splatfest um, Shifty stations. And then the, t the next 24 hours after that, we're supposed to get all of our... Um, we're supposed to get just the, the new one. 
And then after that, they're supposed to release a 5.0 update, which is supposed to come out, I don't know when exactly, but whenever they do, they do. Where you get all, where you get a mode that's called Splatfest mode, where you get all the shifty stations in there. And I guess also mixed with the, this two stage that they pick every, every two hours, whatever it is. So, um, we're gonna get into this. Yes, I know about Grids already, not that I play it, because I don't play that mode. But, um, now look, just look at this for a second. Okay, I'm gonna get down. Go over there. Half it's changing. Yeah, it's color. That's cool. Let me, let me get up, let me get up. A they need to, like, make an amiibo of that. Oh, you know what's also crazy? Look. Make an amiibo look, of that? Look at the sky. They have all the, all the artwork on the sky. Hmm. Let's see what else I got here. What is this? No, I'm not joining the order. It's like New World Order shit. You know what I was thinking about with, uh... I'm just trying to work at all this stuff first. Really quick. We go on. With Pearl's outfit that's changed, that changes colors, they should make an amiibo of that, that if you press a button on it, it, it changes it to the other color. That would be cool, but that would be yeah. too... Uh, cool design idea, right? That would. I could, I could probably get one someone to make that. Did you <laughs> think about that before? I thought about... Cause I, I, after I saw this, I was like, I'm changing my idea to that that I wanted for this two Splatoon girls from that... If you guys haven't seen the Splatoon 3 project, look it up on Twitter. It's very amazing. I tried to get both of the mascots for that into amiibo, but... She won't do it because of copywriting and stuff like that. So, if I get this, I was thinking about this, and I wanted to talk to her about getting this design because it actually looks pretty cool. I really want three pearl amiibos: one with her original outfit, one with her octo expansion outfit, and one with this outfit. That'd be really cool. And then all you, have to, all you really have to do is like make that clear, put a little LED under it, and then put a put a battery and a light in it. That's really all you have to do. Um. Everyone's so happy right now. Wait, what was that one? Go back to on the, on the right, but with the spiked helmet over there. No, there. No, there. No. No. That way. What, what did that one say? Yeah, hold on. Next one. Huh, that's a reference to like an Evangelion. <laughs> Instead of Neon Genesis Evangelion, it's Neon Genesis Splatoon. Did you hear about that though? That they took out the fucking what do you call it? The um, the thing from Netflix with that. Um, I heard also that the Netflix redub of it isn't that good. I heard no, they they took out like I think they, they, they took they took out the ending um the ending on credit song. For Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yeah, and on the Netflix version. Weird. By the way, one of the characters in that show is a voice actress. In the original, not in the redub. In redub, they didn't hire her. She's hmm. a, she's a bitch anyway, so I'm glad I didn't redub her. All right, but um, she voiced uh, Yukiko in Persona Four. Really quick, I just want to check this, see who's online. If anyone's online playing, I can maybe play with them. Of course, he's... you're not online. Well, no, my Switch is at my house. Can currently, I have currently in my Switch, I have Toe General back in the groove on rest mode on it. Oh. Oh, you know who you can add on? You know who you can add on on um, Nintendo Switch? Who? Um, what the fuck? He said he was gonna do it in a live stream, and then he was gonna put it in the description when the video goes live. Block content? No, um, Rich from Review Tech USA. He's gonna play a Switch game on live stream? No, he's not gonna play a Switch game. He just it's like someone asked him about it for his friend code, and he's like, sure, I'll give it out. <gasps> but then he's like, and he's looking around, he's like, uh, uh. Uh, uh, downstairs. I'm a fat guy. I'm too lazy. <laughs> he I, had nothing to talk about that day. He was just going off, of, like, just stuff that he, like, just had in his head and then random comments. Improving. Yeah, he's funny. No, he is. Alright, so let's he's see what we get. He's less fat now, but he's still funny. Um, I picked up, uh, if you guys didn't see before, I picked, um, Chaos. You see, Ka I'm a Chaos Defender right now. Too bad our bro Safina Alexandra can't join us. She's busy this weekend, she told me a while ago. And this is also I, one of the reasons why. I asked her why. to join us for the Slapfest and do a video, like, collab with us, like, live while we're doing it, but she wasn't able to do it. So we'll be here for a little bit. Waiting for people. I hope I get New Balance. New Albacore Hotel, not New Balance. That's a shoe. Isn't Albacore, like, a fish-type brand thing for tuna or something? Yeah, Albacore tuna. Okay, yeah. 
I knew like it was I, all of, the stages are basically. I knew it was some type of brand of like fish food or yeah, something. Yeah, like all the all the what do you call it? All the um stages are based off of fish puns. Well, yeah, there's more like Tallers. Humpback, Humpback Museum. Yeah. Um, no, not Humpback Museum. Humpback, um, Humpback Belly Something Park. I don't know. There's um, watch is gonna give me new. It's gonna give me more Ray Tower's watch. Isn't there? Or, a, oh no, the Shifty Station. Ooh, okay. I'll take that. Isn't there like Stingray Park or whatever the hell it's from that was also a stage? Oh wow, wow. The stage, wow, they're dicks. Yo, the stage I was in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the Splatoon stage I was in that one. I forgot what it was called though. It wasn't Mario Towers though. Oh, that's um, that's um, Inkopolis. Yeah, yeah. That's... Or Ink Square, whatever. Well, I think it was Inkopolis. Yeah. We talk about you talk about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, there... that's what the stage was because I thought it was like some type of park. No, it's. No, I, I, for, I forget. I gotta look it up. What? I haven't played the game in a while, so... Yo, these people are dicks right now. That is weird colored ink. Yeah, chaos and, um... In order. Yeah. This, I'm, I'm chaos. But you know what they did? What? I've realized just now they did it for this Splatfest. Your your team name, when you get on now, you gotta have team name now. For each, each, time, you, each time you play a, a game. Yeah. So, basically, my both our teams now, like the one I'm versing also, is um called Two Week... It's two two streak win team because we only won two games in a row <laughs> i've only won two games in a row oh i used to kick ass and win a lot of games in a row, especially when i would play with alexandra she was like she's a good partner to play splatoon with she is great she's really high level too so when she's on when we get on the same team together it's like ha, everyone else is screwed because alexandra is here to save the day fuck 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 we gotta get out of here i know ink left come on like, I remember when we started hang uh, like playing Splatoon together and talking and stuff on Discord while we play online together. And I'm sure she's way past this level now, but I remember at the time she was like level 64, and I'm like, God damn, I don't even have the patience to level up that much. Just leave it at that. Leave it at, leave it at 64, because you know why? Why? You have that meme now of Splatoon 64. <laughs> oh, nice. You killed each other. Yeah, but you know what? what's better about mine, though? Right. I have the I have um pearls um I have the pearl outfit on but because I have the, of course I have the the chaos um theme selected um the chaos side picked yeah I have the chaos shirt but I have pearls crown and um her shoes so I get the Punisher shoes which basically once you kill a person their respawn time is, is um increased I mean that so I mean, takes for, longer for them take to take longer for them to respawn yeah. but 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 also at the same token if I get fuck if I get um killed. My, my, I take a longer to respawn also. Oh, so it's like a double-edged sword. Oh, wow. damn. Oh. My, I have no ink, because I, I can't I can't use this without Pearl's fucking shirt, because I'm not used to this. Because I got, like, no ink on me. By the way, I'm going to uh, give pictures to Jeff to put into the video to have while we're at loading screens for at least one of them. Uh, it'll be at the loading screen 13 seconds from now. So, I fully finished my Joker cosplay for a Long Island Retro Gaming Expo. I'm probably not going to get a toy gun to go with it because of I wouldn't really be able to bring any because any that pretty much fires a projectile is a no-go. All right, we're gonna, I'm, most we're gonna, toy guns fire projectiles. All right, that, that's so, a, that's a warm up for me. Yeah, but, that was terrible. So we're gonna um we're gonna play two rounds each, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna play two rounds, and Brendan gonna play two rounds, yeah. and we'll swap back so, and forth. So for the loading screen, like while we're waiting in the lobby, I mean, I want you to put up the pictures that I'm going to send you of me dressed as Joker to show the people. All right. Because I think it looks really cool. I love the cosplay. It fits me better than I thought it would. Ah, fat Joker. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. You're not, you're not that fat. It's just a joke now. I know. You have to, you have to, you have to make fun of you. You have to, I have to make fun of you like, like everyone make fun of Rich or a boogie for losing weight. Well, I mean, but, they don't make fun for losing the weight, but, you know, he's, they, 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 they still consider himself fat. Well, his teeth are a little strange looking, and also he's a total cuck. I would make fun of him for being a cuck. Not because of being fat. That an offensive term on YouTube. What? Cuck. Someone probably finds it offensive. Then again, people find everything offensive. Oh, these days. speaking of things on YouTube, um, did you hear about the new policy? I forgot what it was, but I saw something about it the other day, and it sounds like a terrible idea. Like, people like Keemstar or Tipster or any, like, drama-related channel type yeah. of deal, they um, are now are going to flag or copyright or copyright strike or take down or demonetize whatever 
whatever that the thing they actually do to the video is, but it's not good for the video, they're gonna do they're gonna they're gonna put a bad thing. I'm gonna call, call a bad thing. Like demonetizing a bad, you know, copyrighted bad, whatever the fuck whatever the hell they do. Um, but they're gonna do that, and um it's because if um they don't like harassment against harassment. Creator on creator harassment, put it that way. Yeah, but a lot of the times that's a gray line because a lot of people consider just criticizing someone to be harassment. Because there are people that just can't take criticism. It's like, you're harassing me. It's like, no, I'm criticizing you. Those aren't the same thing. But who are you? Are you, um, what's your god? No, he'd be like, yo, man, you harassing me. I'm, I'm a flag a channel, and if you, anyone that re-uploads it, I'm a flag the channel too. And it's like anyone that plays the tune, I'm flagging you right now. I'm playing the tune. Yeah, it's so dumb. It's like, dude, if you can't handle criticism, get the hell off the internet. I'm sorry. Like he cop, he basically his whole like, his whole agenda was that someone made a video documentary of him. Oh great, now we're probably gonna get flagged because he's probably got the Google alert set to remind, let alert him when anyone talks. He's probably gonna sue everyone that does that, you know. Money Matt did the same thing last August. Remember where he had his Google alert set up. For a while, so he has an in a Google to let him know when anyone makes fun of him or criticizes him in any way, shape, or form in a video. Oh, uh, we're having half right now. We're doing pretty good. Yeah, regardless of who they are, it's like oh, they're gonna notify him regardless, no matter who's making fun of him or and giving any criticism to, to Matt. So it's like someone like that, like with low tier guy. I'm like, yeah, he's probably got the same thing. Oh my god, you know what I just thought he's, of? He's probably gotten in a Google to let him know when someone's criticizing or making fun of him. You know what I just thought of? That could be a great improvement to Splatoon if they did a uh, Splatoon three. What? Instead of two on, instead of a team, uh, team, team on, uh, two team battling each other. Yeah. Get three team battling each other, right? Oh. And then you have a Splatfest, right? Yeah. And the special theme of the Splatfest, what color, what kind of ice cream do you like better? Um, strawberry, vanilla, or chocolate, and then like the whole theme of it is just ne Neapolitanian, whatever it's called. Neapolitan. 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 <laughs> Neapolitan. You know who Neapolitan was? Who? Hitler. All right. Well, you know. Wait, what? wait, he, wait, wait, wait. Was he a Nazi or a neo-Nazi? He was just a Nazi. Neo Nazis were. What the hell? Right. And but let's not talk about politics here, though, because one, this is a gaming channel, and two, I'm just, a lot I'm just curious. Yeah, no, and two, no matter what your beliefs are, no matter who you are, you're gonna end up pissing off somebody. So let's not piss off okay, anybody. Okay, did it kill like all the people? Because I got like no, was, uh, oh, oh shit, there. oh nice, nice. There you go. I don't know if it's gonna hit him though. Oh, that uh, miss. It, it, it missed. People will be getting pretty good this game now. I saw them walk out of the way in time, so yeah, they, they dodged that. Just by walking. I think I'm doing better. I, had, I need my warm-up. I mean, hell, why do you think a lot of comic books are failing for, like, Marvel comics and stuff and other comics? They're failing because the writers oh, keep inserting their personal politics in them, and then people are like, can you stop this? Because this is making me not want to buy it. And then you're like, well, if you don't like my, my politics, don't buy my comics. It's like, okay, you got it. You win. And then you know what? People didn't buy their comics. So a couple of divisions even, I believe of uh, the comics industry, I think it's of D the Jeez. DC comics though, a couple of divisions and teams have even been shut down and employees fired. It's like the comics industry is doing that badly, and the manga industry is killing it. Well, manga and anime is better because they make them. Because they make. Because their whole thing is on um, what do you call it? Their whole thing is. Would you want to change your gear? No, I'm going to um, change the settings. Oh, Maybe. for me? Oh, okay. The manga industry is killing no! it. Oh. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Duh. The manga industry is killing it because not only do they make their uh, their money off of multiple other avenues, but also because they don't shoehorn their own politics in their in their products that much, so like at all. Because Japan doesn't really care about American politics; they're from a different country, so why would they care? So it's like, yeah, they just focus on making a good product. So. Um, we're gonna go to normal for now, and we're gonna, we're gonna do a couple of normal, and we're gonna do a couple of pro. Pro is pro is basically the original way Splatfest was was created. Hmm. I was wondering that, of course. I don't remember that being a thing. Yeah. Also, if you're if you're lucky enough, because you haven't played haven't played in a while, if you're lucky enough, you can get you can get a what do you call it, a times time ten or a times hundred, if you're really good, and you can get like a hundred times your bonus score or whatever it is. Hmm. Like right, right here. Like see that. Time, one a time ten battle for team order. Ye yeah. 
and then that get these people won a hundred hundred times. But it's so random and so rare to get them. I've only got it once, and of course I didn't win because once you get to that point, you know, like you're really going in now. So Brandon, what? How do you feel about that Area 51 raid? <laughs> Sean, you know what's funny? Sean was telling me last, well, not really me per se, but like a friend of his last week. I thought that's a funny username in Zombie, but someone was jokingly saying to Sean when we were hanging out, they're like, we, we were hanging out at Sean's house last Friday before Sean went away to uh, his vacation house in Sun Valley, Idaho. And he, uh, at one point, I heard him say something about let's Naruto run to Area 51. I thought he was joking at first, and then you told me that's actually a thing people were talking about as a meme. I'm like, wait, so Sean wasn't making it up? That's a thing people were talking about right now online? And then my supervisor and my mom both were asking me the other day about it, and I'm like, it's a stupid internet joke that people started. Like, very, very few people actually want it's, to do it, but it's like, most, of, most of them. I was, it was, I was explaining it to... Uh, Jess, my supervisor's younger sister that you met that time, the 19-year-old sister, it's my friend. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was explaining to her, because she wasn't getting the joke either, and Wait, I'm she like... The, is she the Spanish one? They're both half a Salvadorian. Oh, I don't and, know and, they. and Italian. One just looked white, I don't know, I'm sorry. The one that looks whiter. I want to offend the people. The one that you... <laughs> the one that you said was cute. Alright, so yeah, she... She doesn't get the joke, and I'm like, it's okay, I don't either. It's I mean, just like people just want to go. With, they literally the whole thing, the whole the whole shtick of it is, is that you go on on the on the on the Facebook page. Oh shit! You go on the whole Facebook page and then you say you want to go or not, like like you're interested in like going to an event. Don't and then people are like, well, we're gonna Naruto, we're gonna Naruto run up them and put the foot bones in our hands. We're, you know, we're Naruto, we're Sh Shippuden crap, whatever. I don't Naruto like Shippuden, yeah. No, but like Naruto came out in a time period where I stopped watching anime for a few years because I was kind of burned out, and now I'm in love with anime again. So I didn't grow up at Naruto because of that. When the anime came out, I never read the manga either. I will but say, I will say though, not, I just, I just didn't care about it. But I, I mean, will, I think the meme is kind of stupid. I will say though that, like, in, in terms of anime itself, yeah, like Naruto, I think is like now just because of it. Is, and I know they're gonna get hate for this. It's a little overrated. It's an overrated thing, and what they did, what they did after, after Shippuden ended, and it was like they, they um, and his child name. Naruto had a child. Yeah, Boruto. And a lot of people that are fans of Naruto don't even like the Boruto anime. They say it's bad. But, or that but, it's But you couldn't think of a good. different name though, like, oh you need your couldn't you couldn't you change one letter of, of, of the name of the title. So I'm sending Nar to, to Naruto to Boruto. My cousin Vinny loves Naruto and always tells me to watch it. And he's he can't stand Boruto. He said it's awful. Did you ever see the Mexican version of Boruto? No, but I saw Ghetto Naruto from Dashi a few years back. No, you never seen the Mexican version of Burrito? Of all of his ghetto cartoons. You know what they call it? What? Burrito. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of that. Okay, that was that was <laughs> funny. I like that paint. That looks really cool. I know it's like like metallic gold. Yeah. But no, it's metallic copper. My bad. Then again. Colors are interpretive of your own opinion. Right now, right now, go. I know, I got him. Good, you're good, you're good. I, th I you think I got him. Uh, no, you didn't. You didn't. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Also, if you hit B or you hit the, the left, the, the, the left, uh, no, the right, um, back, back trigger on, on, on the handle, you could, um, oh, I got destroyed. move back and forth. I wonder if those people are actually being good or cheating, because I know you said cheating is a huge issue. I haven't That's seen cheating in a while, so I think they, they fixed it internally and not said anything. I hope they did, because I know last time someone asked them to, they banned that player. I thought last night they were cheating, because literally I was in two seconds of the match, right? Yeah. And I got fifth, all four players, all four players got, what do you call it, got, um, got their special on me. In about two seconds of playing. Yeah, that's really not fair. So, oh, I'm waiting for that to, to um, click yes. I'm waiting for my thing to level up so I can um get the last part of the. I was, the, um, I was thinking this is the A button. Yeah, because you get, get confused with Xbox. Well, no, it's because I'm used to using my Power A controller more than this controller. Come on, Hyper Shard. The uh, GameCube looking one. Um, hand me my phone. Let's see if there's any gaming news we can talk about while I'm here. 
Well, uh, one thing we should talk about is the possibility of a Super Mario RPG remake. Possibility? It's it's more likely now, but hi still highly unlikely in the grand scheme of things, just because of it's, it has to be a collaborative effort between Nintendo and Square Enix. I but, think that they would do it, though, because they're on good terms again. Um, we'll see. If we actually ever do... Because there, there was a leak about block con on, on a on block content channel saying that we were going to get the hero, we were going to get, um, it was going to come out at this certain date, whatever it was, I forget what he said. That and then we were supposed to also fun. get, um, apparently we were supposed to get, um, three extra tracks for, um, for Final Fantasy VII. Which I think is well deserved because a lot of people have complained about saying we only got two songs. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it, but it's more or less like I don't believe it can happen. Because then he goes into saying that we were also going to get, what do you call it? We were also going to get the 4.0 update, which everyone believes is going to happen with um, with the um, home run contest. And then they're saying we were going to get all the different meat costumes that we were supposed to get. Like the meat costume that we got in the Wii U version, we were, we were going to get back. And then um, we were all supposed to get, um, we were, they were going to charge us for costumes, which I don't believe they're going to do. Um, I'm grabbing right now, so you, you don't die. Grabbing. Uh, well, to be fair, I wasn't expecting them to add any songs in Persona for, for Smash other than from Persona 5 itself. And yet they added in Persona 4 and Persona 3 music anyway. Yeah, but you know you know something like that? Because it's 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 in the same series. Um, oh, yeah. It's um, Dragon no. Quest... Dragon okay. Quest is not in the same series as um, Final Fantasy, so I don't yeah, see... Yeah, no, they're both... The only thing they have in common is they're both JRPGs. And, both and technically Square speaking, Enix. I know that they're the same company now, but Square Enix did not make Dragon Quest. Um, it was, um... It was it probably was, someone else, and then Dra Square Enix brought them out. No, because Square and Enix were two different companies, and then they came together. Oh, yeah. It was, That's what I'm saying, so it was yeah. actually Enix, I think, that made it, or, what, or whatnot. Don't quote me on that, but I think you it was have like, it, by the way. It was like the other, uh... You have the thing you can know. It was like now, the, now, now. I know, I got it. Watch out, grab ink. Quick, it grab ink. Or die. It was like the other half of what Square Enix was. Yeah, but who have, what, but, but, um, what I'm trying to say is, though, that Dragon Quest is not part of Final Fantasy, so I don't see why no. we're going to get Final Fantasy music inside Square Enix, inside um, the Heroes, um, um, what's it called, release. And also, I don't see that, um, can it make no sense? That the guy that leaked it said we were gonna get all these different costumes. We were gonna get Mr. L. We were gonna get um. That would be very cool. I'd it like, would. But you I'd know like that. But you know something though. You know what that sounds like to me? What? It sounds like a Project M thing. Like we're gonna get Mr. Yeah, L. Yeah. I, I mean, was I thinking could, that too. One thing I don't get though is like why we why we didn't get if if they wanted to promote Mario Odyssey so much in the game. I I get it that we got Cappy. Okay, and we got met Oh man, I got him right before I got killed. We got we got Cappy as like a taunt for Mario, and we got Wedding Mario as a skin. But now we're supposed to get Wedding Peach, we're supposed to get Wedding Bowser, which... No, get me wrong. I would love it. Trust me, I would love it. But I don't see it happening because they don't really add costumes like that. Because it just... It just it I'd just like if they did. It just adds too much to the, to the roster as, like... <laughs> of options for each Of character. options. Like, people just kind of... I understand you want to pick your own costume, you want to be unique. But then it's like... It just—it's too many, too many, too much content that they have to they have to they have to develop for it because like they basically have to develop, to develop it for like everyone around the world and it's it's a big thing. And then That's a he also said thought. we were supposed to get um the, the Kingdom Hearts version of Cloud skin, which is basically an Avent Child skin anyway, so it doesn't make any sense why would we get that? Yeah, Avent Children, and we already have that outfit because anyway, so why would we get it again? Because I haven't noticed a difference with... I'm hurrying up with this. I'm going to go right into it and then I'm going to change the settings. Because I haven't noticed the difference between the version of Kingdom Hearts and the version that's already in Smash Bros. for his Avid Children outfit. They're so that's the why, same outfit. That's why I don't believe it. But, um... Also, what was the other the other thing? Oh! Um, he also said that, that with, um... Which makes sense to me. But I don't feel like they're gonna be an online. I don't feel like it's gonna be like a tra tra traditional online leaderboard because we were supposed to get home run contest in the 4.0 update, and um, we're supposed to be, there's supposed to be an online leaderboard with it. But Nintendo doesn't do online leaderboards. They do what the the, the global Smash Power. What is it called? The G oh. GSP, whatever it is. Yeah. So and that's like not even like a real way to to discern how good you are. 
in, in, in Smash, really. It's like, you're just better than all the other players. Okay, you're better than all the other players, but now other players are better than you. Like, it doesn't say, like, oh, you're this, you're, actu you're actually this ranking in, in, in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you don't know, because they don't tell you how many people are actually playing Smash, so you don't know if you're, if you're, like, a hundred, like, if it was a hundred people playing Smash, not that they're rich, but, like, it doesn't tell you that you're, that you're a level 100, whatever, or you're level, like, 50, or level 49, you're, like, you're just, you're just better than, like, if you're, tw if you're, like, 20, 20, if you're level, or whatever it says, 23, you're better than 23 of the players, that's all you are, but where are you? Is this uh, Moray uh, Towers? Uh, yeah. I thought I was the only one that didn't really like this level that much. No, everyone hates it. Really? Yeah, and someone made a joke on someone made a joke about with this game. It was like, oh, you know what we're gonna get in Splatoon 3? We're gonna we're gonna give you more we're gonna give you we're gonna take every stage out, give you more right tower and give you one extra weapon. Watch out. I know, I'm gonna die. He had the power up too. I know. Doesn't that, isn't that just the worst? You have the power up, you're about to use it, and then you just die. Well, you know what I hate? When you're about to set it off and you die before it even goes off. Yeah. Like, like you're, I've you're, had you're, that like, happen. You're... you know what was so stupid? Do you remember, like, two years ago where there was that Splatfest which Ketchup versus Mayo? Yes. And how everybody on Team Ketchup just kept versing people on Team Ketchup? Because there was a weird glitch or something. Either that, or I think it was not enough people chose Team Mayo. So, most people on Team Ketchup just ended up versing other people on Team Ketchup. I did like I did like it, though, with, with all, the, all, the, all the content that people created for that. I like, barely... Like, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the pictures and whatnot. Those were cool, but, like, I barely versed anybody on the enemy team. So, how am I supposed to compete in this Splatfest? I'm versing my own teammates. You know what was funny, though? And then and it's like Team Maya wins. Yeah, of course they win, because barely anybody freaking versed them. You know why Team Maya won? They didn't have that problem figured out. <laughs> it was either a problem on their end, on, on Nintendo's end, or it was just not enough people, except like maybe five people chose Team Maya. No, you know why Team Maya won? Why? Because of that one person that, that made that um that meme when they um over their head, or like you make those pictures, whatever. Yeah. And they're like. And I heard it in my head too when I when I read it. Fuck, oh, come on. Like they just they just made the me the meme of where it said it said mayonnaise. They just they just took a picture of a mayonnaise jar and put Bane and his hair on it, and then said mayonetta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is. That and I just funny. and every time I saw, every time I read that, I just read it in fucking the Smash announcer voice. I'm like mayonetta. Mayonetta. <laughs> Just get Mario, like, you could just, like, you could, like, clip the, clip the voices together and be like, ma ay oh netta <laughs> ma -ar -ya. like, when you get Mario and, and, and Bayonetta, and you go, ma ay oh netta Imagine if there's Dark Pit, he's just like, Dark Shit! Dark Ridley. That actually sounds awesome. Dark Luigi. I mean, that's basically just Mr. L. I splatted that guy. Mr. L was like the evil alternate ego. Give me, give me, oh, oh, that's why. I was like wondering why. In Super Paper we, we Mario. Lost I, I hate the stage. We in lost. Super Paper Mario, they're like, who is that mysterious bad guy? It's like, who's that mysterious guy? Whenever it's like Mr. L's screen, it's just like. Yo, we are terrible. Well, I haven't played this game in like almost two years. I've been playing and I've been very good, but people are going crazy because the last Splatfest, everyone getting on now because they, they yeah. know they can't play anymore. After, like, they could play, but they can't play anymore, like Splatfest. Yeah. Even though you are getting the Splatfest theme update coming out later. Mm, I just hate Mori Towers. We picked the wrong. We picked the wrong data. We picked the wrong time to play this. Well, we were also going to record Banjo Kazooie or Toe Jam and Earl. We were, but we don't summer, have it for Summer of Sega. I mean, we have it, but my Switch isn't on me, so we can't play Toe Jam and Earl. Not unless you bought it right now digitally. Not doing that right now. I believe digitally it's only twenty bucks, also, which I was expecting that to be honest, because a lot of the games when they make a new game of a series that many years like that and like Sonic Mania were like 20 bucks unless you got a physical uh then it, and you got like the collector's edition then it's more money
I have a cool poster of Toe Jammer on my room, actually. It's right by my TV. Mm. <gasps> what kind of kind of kind of question is this? What? It is, it's, a, it's a poll on here on CNET saying, "Are you are you a Nintendo Switch docker or a hander?" <laughs> like, are you play, do you dock, or do you, are you, do you dock, or do you play portably? Most, I mean, what do you, what do you, I know you play both. When I'm not home, I play it handheld or tabletop mode. When I am home, I play it docked. What did I get? Yep, see, look, we're the, we're the two, oh. <clears throat> They're the very warriors, and we're the two, two win streak team. One thing I noticed with Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, usually any of the times it crashed on me, it was while it was docked. While I was playing it handheld anywhere, I didn't have any problems with the crashing. I heard the PC version of that game doesn't look that much more impressive than the Switch version. No, you know you know what's crazy though? That it only digital looks Foundry, Digital better. Foundry found a bunch of stuff that was, um... Oh, I don't want to go here yet. I got two of them, nice. Jesus. Oh, you got someone. No, someone got me. Oh, I spotted S yeah, Saya. Yeah, Saya. I'm gonna call her Sia for now. See you later? See you later. See you next Tuesday. Um, no, but Digital Foundry did a really, really like, good comprehensive analysis on, on, on each console version. And there's really weird decision that they made with the game. Oh, yeah, everybody knows that. Like they like each console version had their own ups upside and and, or, 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 and their and their, their downside also. Yeah, that's why it's not much better if I were to get it on the PS4 or the Xbox One. They said because like, it, it, it's like yeah, it'll look a little bit better, but I'm still gonna have problems with the glitching. They said that the HDR function doesn't even work on on the, like the HDR um um feature that it's supposed to be on on the PS4 and Xbox One. It works flawlessly on on the PS4 version. On the, and but it does not work at all on the Xbox One version correctly. The Switch has a has horrible um low time, not a low time, but horrible um frame rate issues and whatnot when you when you're when you're undocked. And then like, yeah, I've, I've noticed. And the that, PS4 yeah. version did something weird. I forget which what it, what, it, what it was though, but but overall they said if you really want to pick a game and play, like a console to play it on, the PS4 version is the way to go. Cause it's the, the least, it's the, it's, the, it's the most stable and the least amount of um, problems in general with like how they designed the game. I was like, how do you? Every version will crash though, so it wouldn't have been much of a difference if, if I were to get on PS4. The only difference I would have been paying for is that it looks slightly better. Like the graphics look nicer on the PS4 version, that's a given. But, like, because, like, the Switch version looks blurry during, like, cutscenes and shit. It looks like a blurry in your game, but, I mean, I don't really care too much about that. That's not huge of a of a deal breaker for me, but it's, like, the game's still glitchy on the other versions and crashes still, so I would still have the same issues regardless of what version I bought. True. So it's, like, why would I bother buying it on there? Why? So I get some prettier graphics? That's not gonna fix the, the goddamn crashing issues. But they said they're gonna fix them, though. We, we, we lost. Everyone's just jumping on here, dude. This is crazy. It's almost time to end this anyway. It's almost 40 minutes. I know. I wanna wait till the next. I wanna wait, like, a couple of just so we can play when they change it at 10 o'clock, and then we play, like, two, we'll play two, one of the, on the new stages, and then that's it. Wait, what time is it now? 58, 59. Okay. All right, so this will be like around like forty minutes or so. Yeah, we'll we'll keep it at that. All right, that's fine. I'm pretty sure it's ten o'clock. I'm not. Oh yeah, ten o'clock and twelve o'clock and then two o'clock and four o'clock. They... Yeah, we're not keeping a live stream going for several hours. No. Oh, oh what, I, what did I get? What did I get? What did I get? No wait, no wait, no wait. Oh. I'm changing you in. I'm putting you in right now. Here you go. Yeah, so I beat Banjo Kazooie a couple weeks ago on Rare Replay, and I beat Bloodstained Ritual of the Night last week. So right now I'm balancing still the rest of Persona Q2. 
uh, Banjo Tui now. Um, up to the third world net, and it's really confusing. Oh, guess oh, what? it's updated. Okay. Uh, guess what? Guess what game I just beat? And also now to Jim Roll back in the groove because I got that in the mail as a uh, late so... birthday present. Oh, actually, go oh, no. I go back and go to pro now. We're gonna try pro. Um, guess what game I just recently beat? What? It took me a little while because I'm back and forth between games. What? But I, I officially beat um, Tetris Effect. Which... I didn't know there was a story in it. Huh? I didn't even know there was a story in that. What? Tetris Effect? Yeah. There's a story in it? No, it's the game. No, it's it's basically all the levels, but... But all the, all the levels, but, um... It, it basically, it's... If you guys haven't played... If you guys love Tetris, I highly... Highly. Hey Yoshi. Highly recommend you get Tetris Effect because it's just coming out now. They just announced it coming out for PC, uh, the, the slightly better version because it's gonna have unlocked frame rates, unlocked resolutions, and it's better. The PC has better virtual reality in general. But playing Tetris Effect on my PS4 in virtual reality is the most surreal thing ever. It's like you just like you don't even think of like playing Tetris. It's more because like. Put it this way: the whole game is based off of um, it's all based off the phenomenon of, of what they call the Tetris effect. Meaning, if you play Tetris too much, you'll start seeing, like, your brain starts seeing patterns and whatnot, and you get like starting getting really good at the game. But then some people who are like really, really, really addicted to that game will start seeing like, like they'll stop playing the game, and then they'll start seeing Tetris of Tetris blocks is falling in their peripheral vision. Like they'll like they'll just be looking around and they'll they'll be thinking about Tetris blocks falling and whatnot, and. The whole thing of it is because they want to, they don't want to enhance that part of, of your brain. They want to enhance the audio and the auditory and visual and what I forget what it's called, the visual of the visual side of your brain. Because the way the game works, it's it, it basically they 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 set you up with with a Tetris um, game, right? Yeah. But then it's like it's accompanied by like really like high like um almost kind of like kind of like you're on a drug, but you're not. Like visuals in the background and the music that goes along with it. So basically, as you're playing, you're like not even playing like you're not even playing like a traditional Tetris game. You're basically playing it like you'll like say like people play regular Tetris. You're just th throwing block down as as you see them. The the game is so engaging that you'll start throwing blocks down into the beat and and the visuals of the music. Like and the, the visual that you see on screen. And the music that you hear, you just start throwing block down into that, in that pattern, instead of, like, actually, like, what you're doing. It's, it's the most surreal thing I've ever played in my life, like, and everyone that's ever played it, that I've watched reviews on. Oh, shit, they're attacking the base. Watch out, you have to bubble. I got both of them. <laughs> nice. Go, and now use it, use it, use your thing now. Did you have, no, 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 wait, wait, save the other players over there, on the, on the right side. Oh, no, oh, you could have got all three of them. I only could get one. I was trying to move it all around. Um. Oh, but, I almost got him. But people that that have played Tetris Effect have literally said though, if there's one game you have to get for virtual reality, it's Tetris Effect. And I've I played it and I beaten it just the other day because I've I've had it for since like December, but I've been but like I've been back and forth between other games and just being busy and whatnot. Yes, and I, oh damn it! But beating that Ambushed game, me like a ninja. beating that game, it makes me really sad now. Like I can still play it again, don't be wrong, but it's like I felt the same. I'm never gonna get the ending. Forward. I'm never gonna be able to see the ending in virtual reality now because the ending was like the ending credits. Ah. It just makes you, you just sit there and you 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 are so relaxed. You're so at peace with yourself. Like you don't even like you don't even think about any problems that are going on in your life. You just you just you just looking at what's on the screen and everything just melts away. I it's, felt the same way when I beat Persona 4 Golden because I'm like I'm sad to see these. Time, no, time these characters. Trust me, I don't care. I don't care what game you're you're you're, you're playing. If you're not playing, like you're not seeing what was on the screen when I was playing it. Like you're just sitting there. I think we won that. Like one. you're just see you're sitting there, and it's just like nothing bothers you. Nothing. Hell yeah. It's like nothing. Like you're encapsulated. Like nothing bothers you. Nothing is like you don't have no worry to worry about. Everything. It's just like you can relax for about like 20 minutes while the credits roll around, and it's like it's like seeing like a, like watching a YouTube video, but like. In, in a better like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. You just you just gotta play it to to experience it. It's really what it is. Cause it's so crazy. It's like I I don't even know how to like how to explain it really. 
And then also don't forget the fact that Mother 3 made me cry when it beat it because it's a, one of the fucking saddest games I've ever played in my life. It ends this really... game almost made me... Tetris Effect almost made me cry, though. Mother, because... Mother 3 has a sad beginning and a sad and depressing end. I'm like, Jesus Christ, give me a break with this game. Um, I even gave it to one of my I even gave it to one of my friends. So one day when we play that on the show, expect me to be in tears when we play it. I, I believe you. It is really sad. I would love to play Tetris Effect on the show, but I'm not gonna like. There's no way you, you to, to bring over the virtual reality like, at all the time and stuff like that. It's just not a, a thing. But the game is so engaging, though. It's like something you just have to experience. Because every like every like I said, everyone that's ever played. Tetris Effect has said that it's the one game you have to get if you own virtual reality. Like, every other game blows it out. And you know what people were saying in the comments of, like, of like the trailer for that game? What? They were saying that this is, this is like, like, the, watching the trailer is like knowing the meaning of life. It's like, it's, it's crazy, but, um, they, they, they said, like, how does this- Oh, is this the new stage? No. Oh. They were saying, um, they were saying, um, because cause when, when the trailer came out, it came out in e, at E3, like, I think 2018 or something like that. Yeah, 2018, because like, I, I had it back in December when the, the game came, when the game was coming out. But people were like, how did this, how does the Tetris game, the way this is and the way it looks and, like, being so spiritual and whatnot, like, this, like, you thought you knew Tetris, but now you know, now you have no idea what you're in for. And then they're like, how did this game, how did this trailer beat out Battlefield 5? Hmm. Like, people well, have- I, people, I know people hated Battlefield 5. And I understand that, but- From what I heard, it's been worse since it came out. Use it. I know. Watch out, because there's people behind that thing right there. Like, from what I saw people saying, on, like, online on YouTube, Battlefield 5 has now become even worse than it was at launch. The updates made it worse. Yeah, but you know something though? And I'm not even I'm not even like I'm not even talking about after the fact that when Battlefield 5 came out, but just in general, like when, when Battlefield 5 trailer came out, it wasn't it wasn't hated at all. People were like, this really beats out like almost every every E3 trailer right now. I was like, it's crazy. And you know and you know what's even crazier? Like, there's a, there's a guy, I forget his name exactly, but, um, there's, like, a little mini documentary they, they did on YouTube, where this guy who plays, who played, who, who created and also plays, um, like, the very classic Tetris, like, like, the SNES or NES versions, like, he played in tournaments, like, that all the time for that game, and they hooked him up, and he's, like, because his brain was so wired to that one game, like, he never, he never touched, like, he played once or twice, like, modern Tetris games, but he just, he just doesn't like them. And he's been playing for over 30 years, the, the original Tetris games. Oh man, someone stuck up behind me. He's been playing the original Tetris games. This guy again. That and he's really. like, because there's a big difference between how modern Tetris plays and, and the classic Tetris gameplay. Like, in terms of, in terms of like, how things are just like, how, how how the blocks sit and whatnot, and you get like, different, different features and whatnot. And the guy was like, I would never touch, like, I would never play a modern Tetris game competitively or whatnot. But he, and then they put him up to the virtual reality on the PS4 with, um, with, with Tetris Effect, and he was like... That was a terrible decision. And he literally said, this is like the best thing I've ever played in my life. So, you're getting crazy from like everyone. And I'm not trying to turn him into a Tetris Effect review. But, if you want to make it that way, be my guest. <laughs> oh, crap. But it's, it, but I'm, I'm telling you, if you love Tetris Effect, I mean, if you love Tetris, you will love this game, no doubt about it. Like, I have, I have three versions of Tetris right now. Actually, technically four. Are I you... have I have the Tetris 99, which is the Battle Royale version. I have Tetris Effect, and then I have Poya Poya Tetris, and I also have um, what's it called? The Mickey Mouse Tetris, whatever for the Game Boy Mickey Mouse Tetris for the Game Boy Color, or something. I don't even play much. But um, overall, like, there's options out there for you, and if you have a chance, to pick up Tetris Effect. It's only 20 bucks for a virtual reality game. That's pretty cheap. I would go for it if you can. Um, I'm gonna play one more. I'm gonna play two rounds, and then we're gonna end it. Alright. Um. Oh, did you want to play Mario Maker after this? Uh. Not, 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 not. To, um, not to what do you call it? Not tonight. No, not to, not to, sh not to um record it, but I, we could play it together. I would, but I'm really hot. Well, I'll turn the air conditioner on afterwards. Okay. I'm right. not gonna. 
All right, I want to check it out for a little bit. Yeah. All right. Oh, fuck. Damn it. What? I didn't change the motion control back. I'm going to fail miserably. Or maybe just adjust. Hey! Rosa. What? <laughs> there was a guy named Brandon. I was like, wait, he's not playing right now. <laughs> he was playing yesterday. Well, I remember once when I did a Splatoon video uh, a while ago of like me playing for a Splatfest, there was someone that had a very similar username to me. I remember that. Oh, one thing I just can't stand. I'm gonna throw on a tiny rant here. That you cannot do anything while you're in the while you're in the what do you call it in the lobby. You can't even exit the lobby unless you quit the game completely. In Smash Brothers, well, actually no. In Smash Brothers, you have that option. You, you actually no, you have the option to leave. Well, this is gonna suck for me. Is it isn't it with like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe where you can actually change your characters while you're waiting? Oh god, I can't do. That. I can't remember exactly. Cause I've been I haven't played the online of that forever either. No, and, and if you play if you play in um if you play Mario Kart 8, you can um you can um in online mode you can swap out your your cart and your character or whatever what while you're in the lobby. That's what I mean. Before yeah. before the match starts, but then yeah. it, like after it's like 10 seconds or whatever, they cut you out, so you have to they give you a time limit on what on how to do it. Seeing Iron Man next Friday, by the way. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have off for that day, so me and Sean are going to Barkley Center, and we're going to go and see Iron Man. What is this, like a third, like your fifth time seeing them? Third? I wish it was my fifth, because I love Iron Maiden that much. Um, but yeah, we're seeing them again at Barkley Center. A little over two years later since we last saw him, because last we saw him was, because I remember because I have tickets on my wall for all the shows I went to, July 15th, 2017. This is July 26th, 2019. Two years, and a uh, t two years and, yeah, 11 days later, uh, is us seeing them again at the same venue. Although that night was amazing because we ran into an old high school friend of ours on the train on the way there who just so happened to be going to the same show and he gave us a couple like beers each to drink so I was cool with him and we were just hanging out and catching up for a while and then he's just like, oh, by the way, do you guys know anyone that uh, needs tickets because I have a couple of friends that canceled and I have these extra GA tickets and he wanted to get rid of them and then he offered to trade them for our crappy seats. I'm like, wait, you're seriously trying to offer us better seats for our crappy ones? He said, yeah. I'm like, uh, all right, deal. All right. <laughs> and then we ended up getting GA for the show, and we saw Iron Maiden front row, and it was amazing. That's awesome. I'm like, I, I wonder if we're going to get lucky and that'll happen again. I doubt it, but that'd be cool. That's like a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I know, it was amazing. I'd see Iron Maiden GA, and all I had to well, do was dead, trade my shit. I don't have my motion control <laughs> on. I'm I'm like, I'm like, that was cool of him. Oh no, we might actually have a chance with this. Or if I hurry up. You just up. gotta hold out for like 12 seconds. Yes, I went a little ape shit on that just because I'm trying to get. Hmm. Well, we, we won, I think, so. We won one. Well, no, this is no. two. No. Just by a little bit. Damn. All right, I'm, it's getting hot now. I'm just gonna quit this right now. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Click the annotation on the screen. Uh, no, that the not the annotation, but the end card on the screen. Um, let us know what you think about everything we talked about today. Con like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, if you liked that video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know, give it a thumbs down. And if always, we'll see you guys. In the next episode of Video Bros, peace out. And it may be Banjo Kazooie again, or it might be Toe General back in the groove, because that'll be our summer of Sega game. I would love it to be that.
and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.